here is another case that we'll have to figure out, first of all, what's the organ, and number two, what's the disease? Well, all you could really say in all honesty is that it's some kind of glandular organ and there's a lot of scar tissue between the glands. In addition, if you would like to say that some of these little ducts here are a little bit dilated and filled with uh, junk, like here and here and here, you could do that too. But the only way that I could really uh, convince you what this organ was is to not to look at the organ, but look at what's surrounding it. And what is surrounding it is a small bowel type of mucosa that has kind of a villus configuration, like perhaps a small bowel. And so you know the only organ that uh, comes this close to the small bowel normally, so intimately, is the pancreas. This is a pancreas that has a lot of fibrosis, a lot of ductal dilatation, and once again is cystic fibrosis of the pancreas. Cystic fibrosis uh, is not specific to the pancreas. It's pretty much involves any type of exocrine type of gland, including the uh, lung especially. And um, like the other case of cystic fibrosis that we saw, uh, we can imagine that we see the cysts and we see the fibrosis. Um, I don't know if I want to say anything more about this case. Oh, yes, I do. Look at this. Here's a uh, gland or a duct in which there's a lot of junk inside of it. And the other ones we saw only little, but look at all of this inspissated uh, mucus type material uh, packed into this uh, uh, duct. And this is basically the main problem with cystic fibrosis is that the secretions uh, cannot be made properly uh, because of membrane transport problems. And therefore these secretions build up, they obstruct the ducts in the pancreas or lung or other organs. And as a result of that, there's a lot of secondary chronic inflammation and fibrosis and eventually organ dysfunction and failure too. I would like to say also this usually does not involve the uh, islets or the endocrine part of the pancreas. So if we do find any islets of Langerhans here, they should be relatively preserved. And I think that these areas here uh, and here are probably residual islets. They're just not stained very nicely. But if you actually zoom in on them a little bit, you can see that they don't look like the uh, exocrine type of cells that are more cohesive. They have more of a single individual endocrine sort of appearance, even though it's a bad uh, islet. And here's probably another islet that maybe is a little bit better. Um, cystic fibrosis of the pancreas. Once again, thank you.